Let's get on to some dream cars. Yeah, you see, the thing is, rich people buy expensive cars, but rich, clever people rent expensive cars and therefore avoid all the nasty stuff like servicing and depreciation. So when one of the poshest supercar clubs of all recently opened, we took a sneaky peek behind the scenes. And borrowed the keys for a supercar experiment. Last year, it was announced that City bonuses reached a record £14 billion. Some of the complete and utter bankers spent some money on property, some bought a yacht, but a handful of the City slickers clubbed together and bought a load of supercars. Here in the heart of London's fashionable Knightsbridge is the so-called clubhouse of the Seagrave Club. The place where you can hire those supercars from. Named after Sir Henry Seagrave, the first man ever to drive at 200 mile an hour, it's based at a former Maybach dealership. Normally close to non-members, they've let us in so we can show you what the country's most exclusive car club is all about. Membership ain't cheap. You pay a one-off joining fee of five grand, then you pay a further 16 grand a year in return for 1,000 points to spend on car hire. A Lamborghini LP640 hired for a summer weekend will set you back 150 points. A Bentley Continental hired on a February weekday, well, that's only nine points. So, let's assume you've had a good year and you want to join. The most important question is this. When it comes to turning heads, where are your points best spent? We asked for the keys to the most expensive three cars so we could conduct a social experiment. Is it the McLaren Mercedes SLR, the Porsche Carrera GT or the Lamborghini LP640 that causes the most attention? We park each car for 10 minutes, retire to a safe distance and then count how many people check it out. First, we counted how many ogled at the McLaren SLR. 300 grand's worth of British-built supercar. And at full chat, it's good for 207 miles an hour. In 10 minutes, 19 people turned their heads. Could the others beat that? Next, we tried the Porsche Carrera GT. Another £300,000 supercar. It's marginally slower than the SLR. 62 takes 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 205. After a slow start, a few keen-eyed photographers caused a buzz. And after 10 minutes, an incredible 78 people had stiff necks. And finally, the Lamborghini LP640, a very affordable car at £200,000. It's the cheapest of our trio. But with the top speed of 210, it's also the fastest. But is this the best car for turning heads? In slate grey, it looks every inch a stealth fighter and attracted admiring glances from almost everyone who went past. In fact, some couldn't even walk past. They just stopped and stared. After 10 minutes, we got up to 84. And that's without counting everyone that had gathered behind us. So... If you want to hire a fast car but also fancy the quiet life, the SLR is the supercar for you. But if you want to look like Mr. Big Shot, get the Lambo.